guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 28 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monette household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. So Candace was just running for a little bit, but apparently I think she's done. But you know what, we're gonna push the limits a little bit, do an endurance run just to really work out. And uh, Jose, he's pretty much good for now. I wanted to hold a barbecue today, but in case you can't tell, I'm actually broke. I was like, should we hold a barbecue or should I just go ahead and actually upgrade the house a little bit? Which I did. Uh, we are pretty broke though, so it's not looking too, too great. But once we get our promotions and start ranking in money a little bit more, we will definitely have a pretty cute house if I do say so myself. But right now, as I'm saying, see, I can't even buy flowers. Uh, we are pretty darn broke. Uh, but I will show you guys what I did. So pretty much it's all the same except I did add a upstairs. And you guys are probably like, why is this room empty over here? Once we get enough simoleons for, uh, you know, like wallpaper and all of that, I will be making this into like a home office. Uh, here's the bathroom and all of that. I really cannot wait to just redo everything. But a lot of you guys are saying, get upstairs. So I did, and do not mind all the roofing. That's pretty ugly, but like I said, eventually we will get it all situated. Up here I put Candace and Jose's bedroom and little Josh's bedroom and a hallway. And then this will be another bedroom and a mini powder powder room, aka bathroom. So yes, <laughs> we are hopefully going to get a promotion tomorrow. Jose definitely will. And Candace, um, she needs to cook two or three more excellent meals to get to be eligible actually for an upgrade so we're gonna have to work on that uh but once she gets that oh trust me it will be so much better and we need to pay our bills we have a lot of bills that we need to pay so uh yeah we're pretty broke right now and the lights might even get turned off but that's okay everyone that's okay <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go ahead and just clean up a little bit oh could i sell that for simoleons 10 simoleons that's all right not too bad and Jose, what do you need? He wants to plant something ten times. Is he? Did he not go to school today? Um, you better go. Oh my gosh. And whose phone's ringing? Why is his phone ringing? The principal is calling. Answer it. Uh-oh. Hold on. Before you go to school, let me go ahead and uh, see what the principal has to say. <laughs> Little Josh is missing school. If he misses too many days, his grade will suffer. Well, he's going, so he... <laughs> oh my gosh. Go to school, Josh. He actually needs to use the toilet before he leaves. Go sneak up on his mom, maybe? <laughs> he's like, why me? We just wait for her to get out really quickly. It'll only be a couple of hours late. Nothing too bad. I've been a couple of hours late to school before, and it didn't really hurt me. Come on, hurry up. Candace, come on. Anytime now, Candace, really. Okay, out of the shower, and she broke it. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, Josh, go use the toilet. Aw, he's really like, what did I just see? I saw my mom naked. I know, I'd be traumatized too, but hey, it happens. We're going to go ahead and repair that. Or actually, Candace has quite a few things that she needs to do, so come on over here. Jose, go ahead and repair that. And Josh is off to school. It's kind of funny, Drake did it, but <laughs> Josh didn't go. We're going to have um, Drake go ahead and make some friends while he's there as well. And Candace, you need to... We're going to work on getting her a little inspired. She's going to go watch the cooking show for a little while just so we can increase our chances of making some excellent meals which i think that we actually what which one is it to make excellent meals we'll just come inspired it will do us good such a little bit tv and what's wrong with her ah she feels violated as well <laughs> all right well she's done for now that's good and then i'm gonna have her go use the restroom really quickly and she's going to come over here and cook a little bit. We will make some gourmet meals. We will make some... Something cheap. <laughs> we will make some pasta. And Jose, how about you go look for some upgrade parts. Uh, mop that up. 
And if I drag it in here, can I make extra simoleons? Yeah. So when your sims put the plates in there, or the trash or whatever, they get 10 simoleons. But when you do it, you get 40 simoleons. So it's pretty neat. Go ahead and clean the toilets as well. Can we upgrade anything in here? No, it's not looking like it. You can upgrade over here to make it have some sturdy faucets, which we shall do. All right, let's just go ahead and work on our aspirations and everything in this part. Also, a lot of you guys were telling me you should have Candace just try for another baby. And this is actually what I'm going to do. Oh, he's feeling rather tense. I am going to have them try for a baby, probably once again, not for a couple of parts since we are really broke and I'm not trying to bring a baby into this household that we can barely afford our bills. Uh, so once we get a little bit more simoleons, definitely. Um, I heard of this glitch actually that The Sims 4 has been um, getting where pretty much you have all of the same gendered babies so if we have a boy I'll just wait for it to age up and then I will change the gender of the child just because we have been aware of this glitch I that's the best way I could put it there is a glitch and for all I know I might have it if it has a if Candace has a girl then I don't have it um so yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, this game is still pretty new, so there are a lot of glitches that need to be resolved, and you'd think that they would play the game, test it, and then release it, so we don't release. Also, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm aware that a lot of you guys want Candace to have another baby, but I don't want to bring a baby into this household where we can barely afford our bills, which currently we can't afford them. So once we get our promotions going and everything, and there's money, we will have another baby, but right now it's just not a good time. And I did want to adopt, which we will adopt a baby in this series, but a lot of you guys want Candace to have another baby, and I totally understand because she is an adorable pregnant lady, and The Sims 4 pregnancies are so flipping cute. So I do understand, and I definitely want to have another baby, but I actually heard of a glitch that I think I might have. Pretty much, um, when your Sim gets pregnant, they have like all the same gendered babies over and over again and you know if this does happen it's fine I can change the gender once they come a child so it will pretty much be a baby who let's just say hypothetically that it comes out a boy I will age it up and it will turn into a girl I don't know but uh, I really do want a girl and this is just if it happens um but we will be adopting a baby eventually I think maybe when they're elders even. I don't know yet, but I really want to adopt because I think adoption's awesome. So I just wanted to let you guys all know that. But yeah, let's go ahead and cook up a little bit. Did it come out excellent? Oh, we reached the gourmet cooking level nine. Oh my gosh, trout, mincy air. Hmm. And we can also share cooking secrets with other sims. I probably pronounced that wrong, by the way, but we're going to go ahead and eat a little bit. And Instagram it. <laughs> And we will go ahead and clean. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't clean it. Don't clean it. Candace, don't do it. Just put it on the ground. Just put it on the ground, Candace. Or on the bookshelf. That's pretty cool. And we are going to... There we go. 40 simoleons. Did that count towards... No, it didn't come on an excellent meal. Ugh. Huh. All right. So we're going to try this again. Oh, Jose wants to... She's like, look at this clay, Jose. That rhymed. <laughs> Just give her a hug. All right, we're going to cook another gourmet meal. Hopefully we can do this. We will... We will make... Ooh, we do have basil. So we'll try to make some... Uh, I, how do you even pronounce that? Procedo wrapped asparagus? I don't know, guys, but... It sounds really, really good. I love asparagus. Mm. And he has work in 16 hours, Ugh. which means a promotion. And we're going to go ahead and have a quick meal of yogurt, which is like a really nice snack. I love having Greek yogurt as like a snack. Candace, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Go, go cook. We have stuff to do. Jobs to please. All right, go eat yogurt. Josh is back from school. Awesome. Um, let's see. But his teachers at the Crumple Bottom Academy think he could improve. Yeah, he probably could. <laughs> but I don't expect him to. We are going to have him go have some... Hmm. He will have some... He'll have a pastry. That sounds really good. And Josh, you actually have some 
Oh, all right. <laughs> He's feeling energized. All right. Well, if you're feeling energized, that's awesome. Let's have him go upstairs and work on his mental skill. How close is he actually to getting that up? Oh, he's really close. If he gets that mental skill up for tomorrow, he will get a um, a grade level up. Hopefully. Let me see. Yeah, he should if I have him work hard. So he's going to go do that. Now he's feeling playful. Funny school day. The funniest thing happened at school today. No, it was not class related. Well, of course it wasn't. What teacher is funny? On well, I've had a, maybe one funny teacher freshman year. He was pretty funny. But other than that, I have not met a funny teacher. <laughs> did I just put that in her freaking... I did. Put that in there. Did that one come out excellent? It, it did, yes. Okay, so because we have some, um, some of our personal ingredients in here, it kind of makes the meals just a little bit better, so we will make some more. And Drake's feeling rather tense, so he's gonna go grab his pastry and go bother his brother. Oh, and Jose reached the mixology level two. Instead of complaining about bills to your teenage son, how about you go work out a little bit? Oops. Yeah, go work out. Jose has so much time on his hands. Actually, you can come repair the, the refrigerator. It's a good idea. All right, now she is ready for a promotion. She has tomorrow off, but after that she should get one within the next couple of days after she goes back. So we're gonna go ahead and put this away. Clean the counter, clean up the dirty drink, and we'll actually brew a pot of, hmm, healthy green tea. It's just my favorite. I choose it a lot because I freaking love it. And who has the higher handiness skill? He has a level three, almost four, so I should probably have him do it, but she also has a level four. Yeah, I'm a I'm going to have him do it. Actually, Drake. Drake should come do it so he can improve that skill. Oh, he's feeling uncomfortable for microwave food. Oh, boo-hoo. Come over here and repair the fridge for your mother. All right. And we'll continue to just clean up a little bit. Just mop up the floors. And how close are we to a level 10? Oh, we are really close to a level 10 in the gourmet cooking skill. We might as well just go ahead and continue making some meals tonight. But she is kind of tired, but not tired enough to uh, not make some more meals. We're just going to wait for him to finish that up. We'll have a cup of tea while we wait. Cool. We have a common upgrade part. Oh, and who's calling? Bob would like to hang out. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine. All right, and this one needs to go potty, but he needs to wait for his dad to come out. Having one bathroom really does suck. But then we will go ahead and make um, some fruit and yogurt parfait. All right, Drake. No, your dad's out, so you can go use the toilet now. And you can go go take a nap. It's kind of early to go to bed, so you can go take a nap. Jose, we are waiting for Bob, which he's here now. Oh, and <laughs> Eliza tagged along. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to talk to him a little bit. And you know what? Instead of cooking right now, we will chat up with Eliza. We'll talk about our dreams and talk about cooking and ask how her day was and everything and complain about bills. <laughs> we'll complain about bills with Eliza. He's like, look at what Eliza's wearing today. He's like, man, that's my wife. <laughs> but he liked it. He still liked it. He was like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right, actually. Let me just make sure I can check this again. The potion of youth. She has enough for it, so that's good. And Jose, how close is he to getting it? Because I do want to make them young again before anything happens. He needs to work on that a little bit, so we'll we'll do that. Uh, just because I want them to be young adults for, not young adults, adults for a bit longer, um, and all of that fun stuff. Because I don't want them to age up too quickly. Oh, and Josh has become a level four in the mental skill, buddy. I freaking love you. I love you. Reach level five in the creativity skill. We need to do that actually. He's gonna go draw people. This is a new one. That's awesome. Go draw some people. And I will hang that one up on the wall because we haven't seen that one yet. And daydream day to 
two, 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 two times and tell 10 stories. So he's going to work on this for now. Kind of looks like he's drawing his mom. <laughs> I love it. So cute. And Drake. Drake, how about you go talk to Cassandra Goth? She kind of looks lonesome. I think she's a uh, young adult now. So we're going to go talk to her. Or not. Or not. He's just going to go to bed. How is he feeling? Uh, you know what? Go ahead and wake up and go watch some TV. Forget Cassandra Goth. <laughs> We're going to go watch some... We'll go watch the news. I love watching the news. I don't know about you, but I love watching the news. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> uh, and he had a bad day at school. No wonder he's such in a crappy mood. Such in a... That made no sense. Such in a bad mood. All right, and here is the people picture right here. It's kind of cute. It looks like he drew his mom and his dad. I love it. We'll hang it up in his room. It can be a nice little decoration. Come on, let me hang it up on the wall. It's cute. Put it right there. All right, good job. And we're going to have him daydream. All right. And he needs to daydream one more time. All right, and he needs to go tell... Oh, he needs to reach level five in the creativity skill. He's going to draw... Actually, he has homework to do. I was going to have him draw some more people, but you're going to go do your homework instead just to maintain your grades and everything. I'll talk about dreams with somebody. Oh, and she's off to bed. Oh, is he going to bed too? And his... Oh, no, he's going to go do his homework. Oh, he's like, but I'm so tired. Huh? All right, you know what? Forget the homework. <laughs> Screw it. Who cares? Uh, just go have a snack and... Can we just drag that in there? All right. Go ahead and have some yogurt and then I will put him to bed. Drake is feeling playful. All right, good for him. He's good though and he's going to head to sleep as well. And Jose has work in the morning so he's going to go to sleep. A schwell! Uh, but he's a little hungry, but he will make it until the morning. And Candace, how about you just go to bed as well? As well, as well, as well. Yep, everybody's just gonna go to bed. You too. Nope, not nap. Just go to sleep. Alright. And is he getting ready to go to bed? Yep, he is. Alrighty, guys, I will see you all in the morning. Alrighty, so good morning everyone. Jose actually has work in 21 minutes. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a promotion today. I'm so freaking excited. Uh, and I think we'll have enough simoleons to pay the bills as well today. We, it gave me a notification saying we have 24 hours until our power turns off. So yeah, the promotion's needed. We definitely need to pay the bills. Drake is currently showering. Probably lo using some loofahs and all of that fun stuff. And then he's going to have some... Hmm, for breakfast he will have... He's gonna have him have some fruit parfait, but I don't think there's any left. All right, well, he'll just have to go have some oatmeal instead. And what's wrong with her? Oh, she's feeling sore. Oh, well. And look at Josh over here, just like... So happy this morning because he's having some fruit parfait before school and he didn't do his homework, so he's feeling extra happy. <laughs> and his little sloth pajamas. I love those. All right, we're going to... Let's give him an inside joke. He'll probably love that. Ask him about school and you'll even debate some gaming strategies. We'll talk to Drake as well. We'll lecture him about responsibilities, just so he knows. And we'll also uh, tell him that he looks good today. Where's the flatter? We'll flatter him, telling him he looks good. It's probably like, Mom, I know. Look at Josh. It's like, Mom, I know. Oh my gosh, how he didn't like that one. <laughs> he's like, Mom, stop. Oh, I think he's kind of angry. Yeah, he is. 
Oh, he's mad because he got lectured. Parents always believe they know best. Oh, I love him. I freaking love him so much. I was going to get him a punching bag, but then I remembered that we're broke, so never mind. Oh, and our microwave freaking sucks. Our food is always cold. All right, you know what? Don't clean up because I'll be selling all of your bowls for simoleons. Boom. I love how he's super angry. <laughs> he is not in a good mood. And I think they're about to leave for school. He's going to go shower. Oh, and he's feeling a little awkward from witnessing that. All right. Well, Candace, he is clearly very mad at you. Did I not sell it? No, I didn't. There we go. Candace, maybe you can smooth it over a little bit. Yes, give him a smooth apology and try to calm him down before school. Alright, he's he's still not feeling it, but he's not angry anymore. But he's still, you know, kind of mad about his food. But that's alright. Oh, and look at this outfit. Yes, honey, get it. Mm-hmm, them boots and all. Love it. Alright, and Candace, you are going to go work out a little bit. And today is her final day off from work, so hmm, I'm excited for her to have work. I can't even lie, because we need promotions like no other. But she's about to get her... Oh, she's now a level 4, the fitness skill. Awesome. She can now perform box on the punching bag. All right, cool. Let's get a good morning workout. And she's going to go take a shower. I definitely see her toning out, which is awesome. I want to tone out personally, but me getting to the gym, probably never going to happen. Um, the teacher has to run out and pick up his medication, so he asks the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment while he's gone. Should Drake do that, or should he try to do something while the teacher is gone? Of course he... Oh, do some reading. Oh, do the reading or do some homework. We're going to do some homework. Ah, oh, the teacher's errand didn't take as long as he thought, so he come, comes back and sees Drake not reading. He gets a lecture on the importance of sitting quietly and following orders. Sorry I could not read. Um, so yeah, performance loss, small. <laughs> Poor Drake. He was already having a bad morning, and now he's having a really bad morning. Poor, poor kid. Feel bad. <laughs> but it's kind of my fault, but you know what? It's all good. We're going to go ahead and empty out the tea. We're going to clean out the spoiled food. Or actually, girl, go ahead and drop that on the floor. Drop it on the floor. Just so I can sell them. <laughs> I love this trash can. It's amazing. We're going to go put away. Oh, we can't put that book away. It's homework. Whoops. My bad. What can we do? I say this as if there's nothing to do. We can go ahead and work on our gourmet cooking skill again. We will make some trout Mignonure? I don't know. We'll go make that. Put it away as leftovers. How close are we? <clears throat> oh, we're really 67% until we master the gourmet cooking skill. This is kind of a big deal, um, if I do say so myself. Because then we will have mastered our cooking and gourmet cooking skills. So we're going we're gonna to make a lot. Just to finish our skill up we're really really close one more one more oh i did it actually yes candace can now prepare baked alaska she can only almost almost she can also garnish dishes awesome this is really awesome um this is already a fine dish it needs no garnish we're gonna go ahead and put all this away I'm so freaking happy that we that we completed this skill. It makes me a very happy camper. And I'm pretty sure Jose will be home in a few hours, so I just kind of want to pass the time a little bit because I really want to get that promotion, and I think it will be a great way to end this part. So we're actually going to go push the limits a little bit. It might make us sore, but why not? Working out is awesome, and it's good for you, so do it. <laughs> but then she wants to go have some fun, so I'll probably have her... Go watch some television. Alright. She looks really, really good. She looks real good, actually. I'm surprised. 
how quickly she's toned out. She looks really good. Oh my gosh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> All right, and Josh is done with school for the day. How about you go cheer up that old lady? Josh, go cheer her up. Oh, he's tired. He needs to go to sleep. Uh, and tomorrow he should get his grade up. He's gonna talk about his favorite animal. He's gonna talk about school. He's gonna talk about toys. Um, ask about being old. <laughs> and this about candy. What's it like having wrinkles and being old? <laughs> I love it. He's like, you know what? Forget it. You're old. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. I love old people. Old people are my inspiration. They are adorable. And yeah, I think puppies and dogs are the cutest. And I think that's why bulldogs are my favorite breed. And we got a promotion. But I think that's why bulldogs are my favorite dog breed because they kind of look like little old people. But we got promoted to an astronaut. Holy guacamole. Oh, and he has tomorrow off. Oh, whatever. He'll now make an additional 15 simoleons per an hour, making a grand total of 119 simoleons per an hour. He has also received the following bonus, 1,689 simoleons, um, an astronaut chair or an aeronaut chair, and some new creative sim parts. His next shift is on Friday at 8 a.m. So yeah, he's now an astronaut. How freaking exciting. He, um, let's see, he needs to reach a level six of the logic skill. I mean, blah, 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 blah. he needs to get a starry night moodlet from pointing out the constellation social. Okay, so we can do that, both of it, tomorrow. And, um, yeah, he needs to go have fun. He's really, really bored. But before we do that, actually, let's go ahead and pay our bills. How freaking exciting. The bills are paid, and we're gonna go watch some television now. We'll go watch some sports, and who left the dirty mug out? Candace, was that you? I'm sure it was. Alrighty, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Him, actually, Drake's a little mad right now, and we're kinda taking it out on him, but. pretty bad and bad right now, but that's okay. Oh, he didn't have any water in his cup. <laughs> oh, Drake. Alright, we're gonna rant and rave at him. I never really liked him when he was a kid anyways. He was always very mean. If you guys remember, he was always the little one that was really, I don't know, giving some snarly Mock his outfit. We're gonna be like those green loafers with that purple plaid shirt with that Bruce Jenner ponytail. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs>